Hello viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to migrate Visphere vCenter 5.5 to 6.5 appliance. Scope of this video is to cover a brief about deployment topologies comes in vCenter 5.5 and 6.5 and then key points need to be considered uh, before you plan and proceed to migration. And then a demonstration on how to upgrade vCenter 5.5 to 6.5. So this video is preferable to VMware administrators to know the steps and measures to be taken before kickoff migration. vSphere is a product with multiple components. In your data center, you have VMware EXSI host, virtual machines, and vCenter. These multiple components, let us say vSphere suite. vSphere upgrade involve upgrade of all these components. This video guide you to fulfill vCenter upgrade and you will find other videos in the same playlist for other components like EXSI host and virtual machine. How you deployed vCenter is a key point need to be considered while planning for vCenter migration. Here for the demonstration, I choose a simple vCenter 5.5 topology with all components like vCenter single sign-on, vCenter server, vCenter inventory server vCenter web client deployed in virtual machine on Windows OS or as an appliance. With vSphere 6.0, VMware vCenter came with a new stuff called Platform Service Controller, in short PSC. The best way to say about PSC is it is a single sign-on plus more. Plus more means components like VMware Appliance Management Service, VMware License Service Management, VMware Component Manager and a lot of things. So an upgrade from a small vCenter 5.5 topology to embedded vCenter 6.5 topology. Other topologies like a custom vCenter 5.5 topology with vCenter single sign-on on one server and other vCenter components on other server can be migrated to a external vCenter 6.5 with external platform service controller. In this case, PSC will be migrated to a separate server and vCenter server components on other server. Upgrading a simple vCenter 5.5 to an embedded deployment is a one-step process. Upgrading an external deployment like single sign-on on one server and other components on another server it is a two-step process. The first step is to migrate vCenter SSO instance and the second step is to migrate vCenter server instance. The important point to note here is it is not allowed to change the deployment mode during an upgrade or migration. A simple vCenter 5.5 upgrade involves two stages. During the first stage, a vCenter appliance will deploy with a temporary IP address. In the second stage of migration, a copy of data from source appliance to vCenter 6.5 appliance. Source appliance will shut down once the new appliance complete its setup. During any difficulty, you can shut down the new vCenter and start up your old vCenter server. Now let us start a vCenter upgrade 5.5 to 6.5 demonstration. Here vCenter 5.5 is connected using vSphere client and you can see data center D1 with a host and a virtual machine. So we are going to upgrade this vCenter 5.5 to 6.5 appliance. Mount and open vCenter ISO image and then navigate to VCSA UI installer Win32 and double click installer setup file. Once vCenter server appliance installer come up, click upgrade. Here you can see there is two stages, stage 1 and stage 2. The first stage is to deploy appliance and the second one is to copy the data from source appliance to the newly set up appliance. So let us proceed to stage 1. Accept the license terms agreement, then click next. Here the first part is to fill up the source appliances details. The next part is to fill up EXSI host details of your vCenter server running. The information that you filled up here will be used to shut down the source appliance once the new vCenter 6.5 setup complete. Once you fill up, click next to proceed to the next step. Deployment topology selection depends upon which topology you have in your vCenter 
If you have a vCenter symbol topology for 5.5 vCenter version, then here you have to choose an embedded deployment for vCenter 6.5. If you have custom topology for your vCenter 5.5, then you have to choose a channel deployment method. This demonstration is an upgrade from a simple vCenter 5.5 topology. So here embedded topology is the right choice. Here you specify the EXSI host details, username and password for target vCenter server. So this EXSI host is used to install the new vCenter server 6.5. Accept the certificate warning and fill up a password for your vCenter server appliance. So this password will be used to log in uh, vCenter appliance management to restart the services or to manage uh, select your deployment size here i choose tiny uh, because this is just for a demonstration select data store enable thin disk mode if you need and uh, continue the temporary ip address given here will be used to copy data from the old vcenter 5.5 to the new vcenter 6.5 once the copy complete, the old vCenter will shut down and the new vCenter will be assigned with the old vCenter IP. Once you complete the network details, click Next and review the configuration and click Finish to finalize the configuration and initialize the deployment of vCenter Server 6.5. Deployment of vCenter has been completed successfully. At this point, if you want to manage vCenter, you can use the temporary IP address assigned to it. Click continue to proceed the second stage of deployment process. Click next for the second stage. Here you will see a warning, one host will be incompatible with the upgrade of vCenter server. Here I have one EXSI host with 5.1 and that is out of this uh, VMware compatibility matrix. So this need to be upgraded once I complete the vCenter upgrade. Configure SSO site name and click next to continue. Select configuration data that you have to copy from your source server to the target server. And the data will remain same in the source server so you can go back anytime to the source server if you have any issue with the new vCenter. As per your interest you can join or just untick and click next to continue. Just review your uh, settings and click finish to complete the wizard. Here you see a message that the source vCenter will be shut down once the target vCenter complete its setup. The copy of data from source vCenter to the target vCenter just initiated. Once it complete it will start the services in the target vCenter and then following to that it copy the data to target vCenter. Here it complete the demonstration of a vCenter upgrade from 5.5 to 6.5 appliance. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, visit niasitpro.com or subscribe this channel.